TFNN Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. It's Wednesday, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 30 minutes into the trading day. We have a relatively calm market with most of the indices slightly in the red to kick things off. You have the S&Ps, negative four points, trading at 29.33. We have the Dow currently negative by 31 points, trading at 26,625. And the S uh, and the Nasdaq, excuse me, Nasdaq up, up negative 10 points at 8109 we'll start things off big day in earnings once again uh, why not we'll start with some news stories Boeing pulling their 2019 guidance as they are uncertain on how that 737 max is gonna play into their 2019 earnings jumping over to Boeing this morning to see how they're hitting the market actually positive as maybe the, that was already priced into that market Boeing up about 1% at t t not so much though down about 3% jumping over to AT&T this morning. You have AT&T losing more subscribers as it's cutting some debt, but the company losing 204,000 net wireless subscribers. It also lost 627,000 TV customers. The expected losses was 50,000 and 389,000 respectively. So bigger across the board, that hitting the market on AT&T down about 3%. Jumping over to some of the futures markets, we'll start it off with the S&P. We reach a high at about 8.20 this morning, 29.39. We're about six points off that level in the S&P. NASDAQ 100, we trade a bit lower on the opening bell. We were up there at about 78.45 early this morning. NASDAQ 100 trading at 78.18. Dow 30, pulling back a bit from the highs we had this morning, 26,691. Looking at the June futures contract, we're about 70 points off that level. Dow trading 26,625. Small caps, quite a day yesterday for the small caps. A little bit of volatility this morning. We were up there at 1591 earlier, just a point off that level with the small caps trading 1590. Crude oil back above $66. We'll get the EIA inventory numbers a half hour from right now. We'll be on the air live for those. We'll see how those shake out. And gold contract been struggling a bit. $1,273.53 for the price of gold. Stay tuned. We come back at 10 o'clock with Tom. We'll have those oil numbers at 1030. And of course, we got Kevin Hinks, Tom White, the team at TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, Fast Market at 11, Basil Chapman at noon, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, and Tom O'Brien back in the chair from 3 till 5 this afternoon. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. Have a great Wednesday.